In this video, I'm showing you how to convert an M4A file to an MP3 file. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end so the full steps, no need further ado, let's go and do this. Here we are on my desktop and in the middle, this is the file I want to go and convert. It's currently an M4A and I want it to be an MP3 file. And just to prove it is an M4A file, when you go and click on and hover over it, just like so, as you can see, it goes and says it's an M4A file. So now let's go and convert this. So all you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome and you need to come to a search engine and I'm using Google. And all you need to do is go and search for a free tool called VLC Media Player. Now do keep watching, I'm showing you the full guide to go and actually convert the file. You may have heard of VLC Media Player. It's been around for quite a long time, as you can see over 20 years. It is mainly used for viewing media, but you can also go and use it to convert files as well. So all you want to do is make sure you come to videoland.org, that's the official URL. And once you're here, then all you need to do is go and click on download VLC. And then in a few moments, it's gonna go and start the download in the bottom left of your browser, or it's gonna go and be in your file explorer, depending on what browser you use. So as you can see, it's around 40 megabytes. So all you want to do is wait for that to finish downloading, and then you want to go and install it. It's a really simple process. Just go and follow the install instructions, and then it's gonna be on your computer. And I'll catch up with you once you've gone and installed it. So once you've gone and installed VLC Media Player, then all you need to do is simply go and open it up. So either it's gonna be in your desktop, or you can go and search for it by clicking on the magnifying glass down here, and then all you need to do is go and search for VLC Media Player. It's gonna go and appear just here. So then go and click on it just like so. And here it is. So all you want to do is then go to the top left on this row here and go and select media. And then you want to go and click on convert slash save. Click here and it's gonna open up this open media window here. And all you want to do is make sure file is selected, then come over to the right hand side where we've got the add button. And then we can go and select the file we want to go and convert. So in my case, it's on my desktop. Um, so here it is. So all I'm gonna do is go and click on example once and then go and click on open. And here we are. Then all you need to then do is go and click on convert slash save, just like this. And here we are, we're now in the conversion menu. So as you can see, that is the source file we selected. Under settings, make sure convert is selected, and then come down to profile. Now here is really important as this is where we can go and choose what we're converting the file to. So in my case, I want it to be an MP3, but there are a ton of other options. You can do a CD file, an FLAC, um, and there's video files as well, but MP3 is probably gonna be the best for you. Then once you've done that, we want to come down to the bottom, which says destination and destination file. And here, all you need to do is go and click on browse, and wait for this to load. And then on your, I'm gonna save mine onto my desktop. You can do yours to anywhere. And what you then need to do is once you select the location is come down to file name. And something really important to do is, is to go and remove the M4A. So I'm gonna go and take that 4A and go and add MP3 or whatever file name you're adding. As you can see, you want to make sure it matches the save as type .mp3 and that is .mp3 as well. Then go and click on save and you want to go and click on start and it's gonna go and show the progress bar by that's moving across here. It went really fast, it's only a small file. And there we go, it's now gone and finished. We can now close off a of VLC media player and as you can see over here, we've gone and got our new MP3. If I hover over this one, it's the M4A. If I hover over this one, it's the MP3. And it's actually quite a lot smaller, the file, which is awesome as well. But they're exactly the same and that is how you can go and convert an M4A to an MP3. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.